Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm going to do another gear review today on the Mira Safety CM7M protective mask. What happened was um, spotterup.com asked me if I wanted to do a gear review on some of their equipment. I said absolutely, right? In today's changing times and unstable world, unfortunately, you never know when you might need a good protective mask. Uh, who knows what's coming in the future? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this mask. It's a kind of standard protective mask with a ha head harness strap system. You have a attachable and detachable disposable filter. And you have a drinking system. Um, you can swap sides on the filter depending on what side shooter are you. Right side, left side with a rifle to keep the filter out of the way. And the strap system on the head is adjustable with five straps. A top, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right strap to kind of get a good seal on it. It also comes with a plastic bottle or canteen which connects the tubing drink tube system connects into the top of the cap if you lift that seal off the top. You also have a screw top on the bottle to open it up to fill your water. The rubber is a little sticky with a retainer so you don't lose the cap. Which if you're in a mask for several hours you're probably going to need some water especially if it's warm out you're going to sweat your butt off and water will become very necessary very quickly. Anybody that's especially in the military been in mop level 4 understands uh, dehydration really well. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this and I'm going to go ahead and don this mask. Before I don that, let me talk about some of the features. Like I said, it has a removable, disposable mask, or I'm sorry, filter. So if you need to replace this after several hours, you can do so. Um, not much to say about the filter. Like I said, you can switch sides if necessary, if you're a left-handed shooter with a rifle. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the left side of the mask because I'm a right-handed shooter. I'm gonna open up all these straps to make sure they're all the way open to allow me to fit the mask to my face. I'm going to show you the drinking tube system with the water bottle. If you look on here, there's a little lip or nipple that clips the cap on the drinking tube where you can unravel it and open it up. You have to open this thing up and expose the tip. Now I'm going to open the water bottle cap the seal on the top and I'm gonna go ahead and connect this in there like so and you just basically punch it down till it stops there we go and you hear a little pop and that's how you would drink water on the inside of the mask you might need to zoom in on this there's a little bite valve a drinking straw Can you see inside there? See that little drinking straw? On the front, there's a switch to move it to your mouth, like so. So if you need to drink water, you can move that straw around to fit in your mouth. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this water bottle and go ahead and don this mask. Let me uh, reconfigure the storage of this drinking tube. This new sticky rubber is not very uh, easy to deal with. Alright, there we go. Make sure that straw is tucked out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and fold the head harness forward over the mask. Open up the interface seal. So now when you wear these protective masks, it's not recommended that you grow a beard or facial hair because you won't get a good seal. You can try. But I'm here to tell you, it's hard or impossible. So I'm going to go ahead and seat my chin in the chin cup. Open up the seal and pull the harness over the back. Like so. I'm going to make sure it's all opened up. The straps are out of the way. 
make sure my hair is out of the way. Then I'm going to start tightening it down using a scissoring action back and forth. Starting at the bottom, working to the top. And then the top one. I'm going to check my seal by blowing out and then inhaling while I cover the hole on the uh, filter port. I'm not getting a good seal because I can hear the air seeping past my beard. But anyways, I have the mask seated. If I was beardless, it'd probably be a good fit. And that's donning the protective mask, which I haven't done in probably a good 15 years. M7M protective mask. I'm going to try this out with some CS gas here in the near future. Stay tuned. You guys have a good one.